Just four months after lawmakers passed the deal to bring Faraday Future to North Las Vegas, the electric car company is breaking ground. Thanks for joining us. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Dave Cravassier. The billion dollar factory is the first major tenant to build at the Apex Industrial Park. And today, the company officially broke ground. Eight News Now is reporting live. Patrick Walker has been checking out the location and has a look at some of the new renderings of the factory. Patrick. Yeah, David, and he's good evening. As you mentioned, it's only been a few months since all of that was finalized. Right now, all we could do is kick up dirt out here, but pretty soon it will be tractors doing that. Uh, the push to get this thing constructed began, however, much more than a few months ago. Welcome home, Faraday. Welcome home. For electric car manufacturer Faraday Future, the future begins now. We will build a world-class advanced internet connected factory that is environmentally friendly and futuristic. Faraday's vice president of manufacturing says the project will be done in two years. Usually this takes four years. We want to do it in half of the time. For Nevada, landing Faraday has been considered a major score. The city of North Las Vegas began courting the company a year and a half ago. Bold move was made today. And I've already been assured by quite a few small manufacturing and mid-sized manufacturing companies they're following this company out here. You see these big companies and this company that makes an announcement and a few short months later, they're moving dirt. And so that doesn't happen in other states and it happens here because we work together. Faraday Future plans to employ 4,500 people. Executives say at least half will be hired from within Nevada. The company is receiving $335 million in incentives and tax breaks if it meets that goal and if the full billion dollar facility is completed. In return, it's expected expected to generate $760 million in sales tax revenue over the next 20 years. And that, the company says, is something worth toasting. Well, the first production cars are going to be built actually in Southern California as they try to get the prototypes for those built. And then production will shift to this facility out here as soon as they are ready. And the interesting thing about this particular facility, it is a modular facility. It's building, being built in stages. So that means as soon as enough of the factory has been built, Dave, to, uh, to build one of the cars, they will do so even if the factory is not completely finished. Boy, they're sure getting a lot of incentive to build here in Southern Nevada, but it's a two-way street, right, Patrick? I mean, the company's going to give something back to the community, right? Right. There is a workforce uh, development program that is in effect as a direct result of this, but also uh, Faraday will be donating $6 million to Clark County Schools, so a $1 million over each of the next six years. They say that's just the beginning, that's the start as they enter into the community, but they want to be partners here. Hmm. There's a lot they want to get done, but about $6 bucks in total so far that they'll donate to schools here in the Valley. Yeah, pretty exciting. Thanks, Patrick.